this is the instrument cluster that I ended up doing. Um, I like it, it works well. Um, I've had to go back and forth with the vendor. I had to raise a dispute because when you order stuff from China, you really don't expect any customer service. I mean, and I kind of knew that, but I didn't think that they were gonna be this bad about it. They did not send any instructions uh, for anything. I ordered uh, the LCD uh, instrument cluster and the radio from them, which I'm about to install next. I'm gonna remove this entire piece and get the other one uh, for the floating screen on there. Uh, but they really gave me no customer service at all, gave me no choice but to raise a dispute. And when I finally raised the dispute, they came back and they started giving me directions. Uh, not really directions, but they kind of sort of gave me a little bit of information. And I had to do a lot of guesswork to, to make it work. So when it showed up, it was in kilometers. It was not showing miles per hour. It gave me no way to enter the mileage into the cluster. Um, in my previous video, I did say that it has, it can run ways and it's pretty much um, like a multimedia unit itself. I was wrong. Uh, there is a unit that does that, but this is not it. This is strictly an instrument cluster. It does have a couple of different views, uh, depending on what you're doing. If you offer it with your vehicle, you know, one of the views might be helpful like this one here. Uh, it changes the steering angle as your uh, it has the the pitch uh, and roll uh, degrees so it might be helpful for someone who does off-roading I don't um, so I tend to use either the the classic uh, look which is this where you have the rpms on one side and the speedometer on the other side uh, or uh, this is the sport one and this is what I usually uh, generally keep it on but you can sw swap through them, it's not a big deal. What I'm gonna share in this video is that um, the code you need to be able to make the changes that I was talking about, which is to enter your mileage, so your uh, cluster shows the accurate mileage you have in the car, and uh, to be able to change some of the other settings, um, such as change it from kilometers to miles, uh, date time I'm still not able to get the time right and date right on this thing and for some reason it doesn't store it but the mile per hour change it it took it it stored it so don't have any issues there I haven't updated my mileage yet uh, but I'm going to I had to fight with them to get that code so what you do is basically um, go back it doesn't matter what view I use but so over here you use this button to activate the menu and in the menu you have system set settings vehicle settings are really useless they don't really have much in there so you go into system settings then there is language uh, generic means nothing it's just how dim or whatever uh, it gets everything and then you go into factory to make a selection again you press the same button press that and then it comes up with a password which you need to enter so they did not give me a password. I tried 50 different passwords from online for different uh, Android radios. Although the password they did share with me finally was an incomplete password because it only gets you into one menu. It doesn't get you into the other menu where you can make other changes and I'll show you both here. Um, the, this one only lets you enter the mileage, but if it's already in kilometers, then you can only enter the kilometers. So you need the password for the other menu to change the, the, the units from kilometers to miles per hour before you can enter your mileage. And that's what I had to figure out on my own. I kind of guessed it and it wasn't very far off from the first password they shared with me. So number one, um, the password to get into the factory settings to change your mileage so you can reflect the correct mileage on the cluster is 01 six eight so the way you put that in is you start with that same button so the way you the way you do it is you enter the password by pressing this button and as you if you quickly press it it goes through numbers but in order for you to move to the next digit you kind of have to hold it down for like a second so it's zero one six eight so I'm gonna hold it down it goes to the next digit you select one and you hold it down again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it down again. 
seven, eight. So the last one, I don't know if you could tell on the video, it just says, okay, zoom in a bit here. Yeah, it's not coming up in the video, but the last part just says, okay. So then again, you hold it down for a couple of seconds, get it onto okay, hit that button one more time right here. It can let you enter whatever your mileage is in the car. You can select what your main tank is in the car. It says 140 liters. I can't change it to gallons, but I did the normal math for the 28 gallon tank. Should be about 109 liters. So I'll probably change that later. And then you hit confirm and it should reflect the mileage um, that you uh, have in your car. So that's pretty much the only thing you can do in this menu. Can't do much beyond that. And the way you move up and down is you use the, the dimmer buttons. So you press the one down, it'll just move down on the menu. And you know, you can put in the vehicle model, obviously there is no Armada, there is only Nissan Patrol. Um, and then you can either confirm it and then, or just return. And you can also exit by pressing the dot button. So I'm just gonna get out of this menu. Um, let me see here. I actually have to hit enter again, just exit out. Now the other menu. So I had to take a guess on this. I figured if 0168 is the password, I would try 0167 or 0169. And I got lucky and it came up. So this is the menu where you go ahead and put 0169. Again, they only gave me one password and it was all in Chinese. The only number I could read was 0168 and uh, I tried it out, that worked. So it's gonna be 0169 for the second menu, which basically gives you more options. And these are those options here. Front tire exchange, I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe it's the reset, the TPMS or something. Tire pressure is on, steering angle is on, startup is on, reset is on, refueling, I don't know what that means again. Um, eco mode date and time I turned it off because no matter what I did it showed the wrong time I kept entering the date and time and it didn't really do anything time format meter exchange no idea what that means uh, doors info compass info trip unit this is the menu that you need um, uh, to change from kilometers to miles per hour so when you go in there it basically uh, it changes from kilometers to miles per hour. You basically hit the same window button and it swaps back and forth. So I'm gonna leave it at miles an hour. If you hit it one more time, it'll go to kilometers, change it back, it changes back to miles. Um, tank position, don't know if that's important. Uh, exterior temperatures on, uh, gyro calibration, and temperature unit that's another one that I had to change now it shows 87 degrees it was showing in Celsius before same thing when you hit the button it switches back and forth between Celsius and Fahrenheit so that's that so very important if anybody's gonna do this I'll put the link down into the description of what unit I ordered and who I ordered from the vendor in China if you want to you know dwell um, into it it's up to you really um, I did it because I had dying LEDs in my cluster and I just figured if I'm ordering the radio I might as well get the cluster and it'll just change the look of the car a little bit when you're driving it I'm happy with it it's not perfect but it's not bad so with that said you know uh, I'm gonna move on and start the uh, install process on the radio with the floating screen that looks like the current Armada uh, and you just exit out of all the menus uh, a couple of things about the unit I haven't had any issues since I've had it on the car for about a week week and a half um, this little Nissan Patrol Armada in the middle when you start driving it does actually start spinning its wheels so that's kind of cool but beyond that really there there's nothing else in this unit other than just showing you digital gauges in three different views so it's up to you which view you prefer, but I either use that or I use this one. Uh, these are the two that I usually keep it on. 
So I hope that helps somebody who wants to place an order for this thing if they want to do it. Um, those codes are very important. So remember those codes, you're gonna need them to be able to make changes. Um, and then now I will go ahead and waste my life away with the install of this radio and see if it works.